That evening, Caillou had a brilliant idea. He wanted to make a special star to put on top of his very own special tree. Meanwhile, Rosie had a few ideas of her own. Rosie made a present for Gilbert, all by herself. That's wonderful, Rosie. Oh, you're such a big girl now. <laughs> Daddy funny. Yes, Daddy's funny. What are you doing with the wrapping paper? Rosie, big girl now. Gilbert, cut that out. Shoo! Go away! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's very funny. Now, could you please help me up? Could we help you decorate the tree, Daddy? I think that's a great idea, Caillou. What's that, Rosie? Wesley. Here you go. Why don't you two help me finish decorating the tree? Mine! Mommy gave this one to me. Caillou saw how upset Rosie was, so he decided to let her have the ornament. Here, Rosie, you can have it. That was very nice of you, Caillou. Christmas is a time of giving and of sharing, and you did a very good job of sharing with Rosie. Can I put my star up now? That's a great idea. Let's see that star of yours, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Daddy funny. <laughs> And now the lights. Wait, I want the room dark. Ready? Ah. Oh. The tree doesn't look little anymore. It looks great. It's the best tree we've ever had. Caillou and his family all loved their Christmas tree. Now it felt like Christmas in their home. When Caillou got to bed, he was very tired. Did you have fun today? Yes. And now, I can't wait till Santa puts all my presents under the tree. Christmas is about more than just getting presents from Santa. Really? Like what? Christmas is a time for giving, especially to those who aren't as fortunate as we are. What does fortunate mean, Mommy? We're very fortunate because we have a beautiful home and we always have plenty to eat. And you're very fortunate to have all these toys. But I don't play with all of them. I have an idea. Why don't you gather up the toys that you don't play with and tomorrow we'll make sure they go to children who will enjoy them as much as you once did. Now I think it's time to open another Christmas calendar window. Yay! Let's see, there's 11 windows, so if you open one, how many windows are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Tomorrow, there will be ten more days until Christmas. Let's see what we have. What is it, Mommy? This is how children in a country called Mexico celebrate Christmas. Would you like to hear what they do? Yes, yes! Several days before Christmas, Mexican children have a parade. They dress up as shepherds and as angels. And a young girl dressed as Mary rides a donkey. A little boy dressed as Joseph leads the way. Following them are three children dressed up as the wise kings. They dress up to tell the story of Christmas. Did you know that in Mexico they speak Spanish? Spanish? It's a beautiful language. Do you want to know how to say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Yes. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Caillou liked learning new words, and he liked how Merry Christmas sounded in Spanish. Feliz Navidad. I wish I could be in a parade, too. Good night, Caillou. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. When Caillou woke up, he remembered the idea of giving away some toys he didn't play with anymore. Come on, 
on, Rexy. We have some work to do. See, Rexy, I don't play with these toys anymore the way I play with you. What are you doing? I'm giving these toys away. Rexy? <laughs> no, silly. Not Rexy. These toys that I don't play with anymore. I'm giving them to kids who don't have as many toys as me and you. No, Ducky. No, Rosie. These are for kids who aren't as fortunate as us. But Rosie liked Ducky. Okay, you can keep Ducky. Look, Mommy. These are the toys I picked to give away. Good for you, Caillou. They're going to make lovely presents. How about some breakfast? You must be hungry after all that hard work. Rosie didn't quite understand about giving and sharing, but she wanted to make Caillou happy. So she decided to wrap up Rexy and give him to Caillou as a surprise Christmas present. See, Rosie? I'm packing all the things I'm giving away. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> Rosie wanted to give away some things, too. Give away? Give away? But she didn't quite understand what to give away. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou were going to the place where Caillou's toys would be given away. But Caillou didn't know exactly where it was. Where are we going, Mommy? Here's a clue. What's big and red and... Santa Claus! <laughs> yes, but what's big and red and has a loud siren? I know! A fire truck! <laughs> exactly! And where do we find fire trucks? In a fire station! You got it! At Christmas time, some firemen collect toys and give them away to children as presents. Like Santa! Caillou really liked the great big fire trucks. The firemen had used them to rescue Gilbert from a tree. Here. Let me help you. Thank you. Hi, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Are these toys that you're giving away? Uh-huh. Well, that's very generous of you, Caillou. Sparky was very happy to see Caillou again, too. <laughs> <laughs> I taught Sparky a new trick, Caillou. Want to see? Give the paw, Sparky. Good boy. Do you want to try? Okay. Sparky, give the paw. <laughs> Good boy, Sparky. <laughs> Let's go take a look at what's in this big box of yours. Stacy, we have some more items. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm fixing up some toys to make them good as new again. Wow! Now, let's see what you've brought. Huh? How did that get in there? <laughs> this is a strange toy. And there's more. I know! Rosie put them there! <laughs> Rosie probably saw you giving things away and wanted to add a few things of her own. Now this is better. Let me see. Hmm. I have just the thing to fix it. Do you want to help me, Caillou? Wow! Look at all the wheels! Let's see. I think this one will be a perfect fit. Can you hold the truck for me? There. Is it all right? It's just like new. Great. Why don't you bring it over so I can wrap it? Is something wrong? Now that Caillou's truck was working again, he wasn't sure he still wanted to give it away. Caillou, you're going to make a little boy very happy when he gets to play with your truck. Caillou thought about it and decided that it would make him happy to give his truck to someone else for Christmas. Here, can I help you wrap it? You sure can. This truck is going to make someone very happy this Christmas, and it's all thanks to you, Caillou. That night, Caillou was in a big hurry to get to bed. Rexy! Rexy! Daddy's going to tell us another Christmas story. Rexy? Oh, it's you, Teddy. 
I was looking for Rexy. Ready for another calendar story? <laughs> yes. Let's see how many windows are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So we open one tonight, and tomorrow there will be nine days left till Christmas. It looks like a classroom. You're right. This takes place a long time ago in a country called England. The children are at school, and they're writing letters to their families. The parents thought the letters were so beautifully decorated, they decided to send holiday greetings to their friends and families, too. Soon, people all around the world were sending beautifully decorated holiday cards to each other. That's when Christmas cards started. That's right. And now, bedtime. Sweet dreams, Caillou. Good night, Daddy.